talking about urban ecology, we often discuss disturbance. So what is disturbance? Well, here's a perfect example of what a disturbance is. So the winds this last uh, weekend were pretty strong here. Got around 60, 70 mile per hour gusts in this region. Um, and obviously wrecked havoc on this park. In a natural like forest setting, for example, a fallen tree has an effect on the ecosystem. Temporarily provides shelter and a life for uh, different animals that might use the fallen dead tree as habitat. When it burns, it puts a huge dump of resources in terms of like nutrients into the soil, which then become uh, the basis from which other plants uh, start to move in and pioneer the new um, burned location. So, so this is in a natural setting your example of a disturbance, and they happen ever so often. But with humans, disturbance is a much more frequent aspect. It has these uh, kind of lobey shapes at the bottom and then gives way to these greenish white flowers. Uh, it's from Eurasia. It uh, takes up metals pretty well and this whole field is mugwort. It grows in grassland type environments. It has these little yellow flowers. It's part of the pea family. And it, uh, it's a bird foot tree foil. The red clover, and here is crown bitch. They look pretty similar, but they're not. Clover, crown bitch. Stemmed aster, um, yellow nut sedge, some sort of other aster, a chicory, curly dock, uh, white snake root, hen bit, green foxtail, hawkweed, lady's thumb. That's it.